everyone welcome back to my channel and if you are new make sure you subscribe let's get into this video i know it's been a minute but i just wanted to do like a laid back video showing you guys what my favorites were so far of this month and i've been doing lots of purchases yeah and those products have became my favorite products fairly quickly even if like i bought them like a month or like years ago and i'm just i'm just now starting to like them again and i want them to be your favorites too so i'm going to show you guys what some of my favorite products have been lately since it's been getting hot i've been like transitioning back and forth from vanillas to coconuts to fruity fragrances i just don't know what i want to smell like y'all so yeah but <laughs> hey that's the point right of us self-care peoples we never know what we want to smell like we just smell like any scent category depending on the day and the time of day and the season recently i purchased this palmer's body oil this is the cocoa butter formula and it smells so good i had this like two years ago and i used it up and i just didn't buy it again but i have it again and I really like the consistency. I like that it's like that oily consistency. And when I mix it with my thicker texture lotions, it loosens up the texture of the lotion. Like say I'll mix it up with a EOS lotion. And yeah, it makes my skin soft and smooth. But the body oil by itself really is nice. So I definitely recommend picking this up. I'm not sure if it's available at Walmart. I think it is, but I got mine from Target recently. And if you want to smell like chocolate, this is the closest to chocolate just because it has that cocoa buttery scent note to it. Speaking of the EOS lotion, the vanilla cashmere one is so bomb. And anyone who has this lotion, like, you know. But lately, I've been on an EOS high. Like, I've been buying all their lotions. I haven't gotten the fragrance free one just because it's fragrance free and i do buy my lotions for the scent <laughs> one day i might buy it just because but it'll most likely be to experiment with like if i have an empty jar then i'll put the lotion in the jar and mix it with one of my scented body oils that's definitely a little hack by the way if you wanted a hack for um, making your own like smooth skin goop but the vanilla cashmere lotion from eos definitely smells good this is like my third or fourth bottle in my lifetime i will always be repurchasing this and i really hope that they don't like take it away because it's such a nice lotion and the texture is so great it definitely does make my skin glow a little bit too so hopefully like it'll do the same for everyone else but yeah this is definitely a favorite and i could see myself loving this for like ever <laughs> one of my newer fragrance purchases is the fineries flower bed now i'm not sure what high-end perfume this is supposed to resemble but it smells amazing like it smells perfumey like it smells so expensive i feel like it's supposed to be a dupe for a fragrance and i don't know what it is but yeah it smells like like it doesn't even smell like roses like it's giving maybe like marigolds or tulips i don't know some sort of flower but it smells like a flower bed definitely pick this up in target if you haven't my first favorite sol de janeiro body mist is 68 but lately i've been loving 62 and i've been loving to pair it with like my other pistachio scented body care this smells so good. Now, it is a little light, but it's really good for, like, hairspray. Like, it says, like, you can use it as a hair mist, too. So, I do spray, like, just, just a little bit on, like, my ends, not on my scalp. And it definitely does help to, like, boost your overall scent profile. You know what I mean? But, yeah, I love this. The big size bottle is, like, $38. But I recommend just getting the smaller size and seeing how you like it first. Y'all, the other night I used my, what is this called? Exfoliating Crush Scrub from Kopari. And I forgot how good this was. <laughs> Kopari sent it to me uh, a few months ago. And I had never got the chance to use it in like a sweet berry shower routine. But it's like 
it's, it's very exfoliating first of all secondly when you rinse it off in the shower it leaves like a little bit of oil behind like you know those types of um body scrubs that when you use it it leaves like this oily consistency behind and just makes you glow overall those are literally the best types of scrubs and then when you wash it off a little bit like your skin is still left silky smooth so definitely try Kopari's uh, body scrubs if you haven't. Now, I don't know if this body spray from Victoria's Secret is still available, but this is in the scent Fearless. And this hands down smells so good. Like it's definitely giving early 2000s baddie. Like I bought this at one of their semi-annual sales and I regret like not getting like three because like I never want to use it up because it smells so good. And it's 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 giving oh like it smells like a high-end perfume it's kind of close to flower bed but like more perfumey like it's hard to explain it's one of those scents that are definitely hard to explain and i feel like that's how early 2000s scents usually were like if you remember like being a teen or just coming of age in the early 2010s or whatever like you know that a lot of scents had that same scent profile you know like they were perfumey they were semi-mature but okay for like teens like this is the vibe that fearless is giving i was about to call it flawless <laughs> it is flawless though so i definitely do recommend picking it up at the next victoria's secret sale i kind of wish that it was in a body wash that should be a video scents that i wish were in a body wash noted one of my favorite brands of body washes will always be Philosophy, especially their older scents. I used cinnamon buns tonight, and this smells so good. Like, I love the Philosophy body washes that are true to their name. This is one of those body washes. It definitely smells like fresh cinnamon buns hot out of the oven i also like how philosophy body washes are so aromatic in the shower too and they feel so good like they definitely leave your skin feeling so hydrated say what you want about philosophy body washes i will always be purchasing them another one of my shower favorites has been this naturium body wash this is one of their new ones this is the energizer mandelic acid body wash and it leaves like a cooling effect so like it's apparently perfect for after a workout and i used it today after the gym and oh my gosh like it feels so good i mean most nutrient body washes are going to make you feel good like they're gonna wash off all that dirt they're gonna um just make your skin feel overall healthy and hydrated like you're gonna feel so refreshed after you use a naturium body wash naturium recently sent me their energizer and their hyaluronic acid body wash i haven't used the higher hyaluronic acid body wash yet i can't speak today i haven't used it yet but it will be my next body wash because the mandelic one that i have in the shower it's almost gone that's how much I've been using it. Like, I've been using it every single day. And, yeah, I'm obsessed with Naturium body washes. And, basically, I use them as a base cleanse. So, I use the body wash with any of my bleh, any of my favorite bar soaps. And then, yeah, I wash that. And then, towards the end of my shower, I use a scented body wash. But, yeah, Naturium body washes are where it's at. <laughs> Now, I feel like Bioma body washes are going to be right up there with Naturium. This is, this is definitely going to be a new favorite of mine because I used it once in the shower and it felt so good. And this one has like a citrusy note too. Now, between you and me, it's like $2 cheaper than Naturium. You, you know, their vitamin C one, it's like $2 cheaper just so you know. But like this is so good i mean i will forever be buying the trillion products like seriously but this is definitely worth a try bioma body wash is definitely worth it and apparently they have skincare i did not know that they have skincare so I'm going to be trying their skincare soon too. Speaking of skincare, Naturium sent me their new Barrier Bounce Serum today. And I used it on my skin for the first time. Now, 
earlier in the year, Naturium also sent me their multi-peptide advanced serum and their alpha arbutin serum. They sent me this last summer, actually. And mixing these two together so far have been amazing. Like, I feel like my skin looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Don't mind this. This has always been there. Everyone always asks, how did you get that right there? And I'm like, I don't know. It just popped up one day. But yeah, my skin has been looking pretty good, you know, mixed with that and the glycolic acid toner from The Ordinary. Skin looks glowy, feels glowy, looks great for the summer. Lately, because I've been rotating my perfumes, the only one that's really been wowing me lately is the phrase Fouté that Le Gourmand Beauty sent me last month. And that's because it smells like a sweet strawberry milkshake. Like, I feel like I can mix this with any sweet-scented lotion, any sweet-scented perfume. Now, when I start doing some bigger perfume purchases, then I'll get into my perfume groove back. But for now, I've been rotating with perfumes. And, of course, we're just coming from the winter. So I have a bunch of vanilla perfumes. And, yeah, I have some sweet perfumes that I've been trying to wear all year round. But I can't really make them work that much for the winter. You know what I mean? But yeah, this has been a favorite so far. And look, you see, I've been using it. It has a little perfume dent. But it smells like a sweet strawberry milkshake. So definitely do try this if you haven't. I think Le Gourmand Beauty products are now in Ulta Beauty. I don't know if they have like all the perfumes, but they had a few the last time I checked. So definitely check Ulta Beauty. Uh, check and Urban Outfitters too. Lastly, a random favorite the elf lip oil <laughs> i've still been loving elf lip oils like to me they're not even really oils they're like lip glosses to me but yeah I, I want the whole collection so bad but it would be so redundant if i bought them all um but yeah elf lip oil i love it so much definitely a repurchase once i use up a couple of lip glosses <laughs> I can show you guys my entire lip gloss collection if y'all want. Comment if you want that. But yeah, e.l.f. lip oil, definitely a favorite of mine. But yeah, those are all my favorites as of now. I probably do have a few more, but like my body care is kind of scattered around my room. Um, But yeah, that's it for this video. Like, comment, and subscribe, y'all. I'll see you next time. Bye!